Hello, this is Günay Asken, full-time faculty at CSN. I will be introducing and running the experiment of synthesis of t butyl chloride. Our starting material is t butyl alcohol. Through the SN1 mechanism, we are going to produce t butyl uh, uh, chloride and uh, purify it and check the uh, 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 purity of the final product. Uh, let me take you to my whiteboard so I can show you the reaction and the details of the experiment. Here we are. We are going to start with uh, tea butyl alcohol. And the reaction mechanism will be SN1, which is a substitution nucleophilic first order, meaning that rate depends on only the substrate. In this case, the substrate is butyl alcohol. And the nucleophile has no effect on this reaction. The starting material, when you look at it, alcohol is not a good living group. We have to convert the alcohol into a good living group. There are a few methods. One of them is reacting with a strong acid. In this case, we are going to react the alcohol with hydrochloric acid, and the chloride of the hydrochloric acid will be a good uh, nucleophile. Now, for this, uh, as you know, uh, hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. In water, it is in uh, hydronium ion form, hydrolyzes 100%. Uh, so in this case, but through this mechanism, we, we end up with, by eliminating water, end up with a very good living group. Next step is the formation of, formation of, uh, oh, let me use the other pen, formation of carb cation. Water is eliminated and then carb cation is formed. Now we have the nucleophile, and then final product is t butyl chloride. Now in this reaction, we have a starting material uh, as, as a hydrochloric acid, which we have excess of the hydrochloric acid. And then we have some water also in our final product. Hydrochloric acid is removed by sodium bicarbonate, sodium chloride, and uh, carbonic acid is our product, as you know, from inorganic uh, uh, chemistry. Carbonic acid dissociates into carbon dioxide and water. In this experiment, we will be careful to eliminate the carbon dioxide. Water is removed by a drying agent. Drying agent, in this case, uh, magnesium sulfate, which we have used before. Magnesium sulfate turns into uh, hydrate by absorbing seven moles of water. Uh, this process, eliminating uh, the excess reagents, is called workup. It is really important in inorganic chemistry to eliminate the excess uh, uh, reagents or the excess uh, by by products. Next, we are going to, after purifying our uh, final 
product, we are, uh, we are going to react this with uh, silver nitrate because silver ion gives a white precipitate with the uh, chloride ion. Uh, and then we will have the uh, carb cation and combining with the nitrate. This, was, uh, this will tell us the uh, presence of the T T butyl chloride. Next, we are going to use the IR and identify our final product. Uh, final product uh, is T butyl chloride. We'll take the IR and compare with the starting material, T butyl alcohol. I just wanted to warn you that uh, we may see some elimination product in this reaction also, and IR will, will tell us if we have it or not. Have a good day. Hello everyone, I'm, I'm going to run the t butyl chloride uh, synthesis experiment and it, hopefully you watch the introduction because all the theory is there. This is the application of it. Now I'm going to measure a 15 milliliter of the hydrochloric acid and leave it in ice. So here is the hydrochloric acid. We need to be very careful with the hydrochloric acid. It is concentrated. I will measure. 15 milliliter doesn't have to be exact close to 15 will be just fine because we have the excess hydrochloric acid I'm almost there here you are actually this is exactly 15 milliliter and then I will secure the hydrochloric acid back closing the lid of it right there so this is the I will make an ice bath, put this hydrochloric acid, add some ice to cool the hydrochloric acid before we start the reaction. Here you are. I don't need ice bath either. And while it is cooling, I am going to uh, measure the exact amount of the T butyl alcohol. Uh, that is the way it is done in research. What we do for liquids, we take the graduated cylinder or the measuring container and then add the, uh, uh, the amount uh, uh, in it and weigh it. After we weigh it, empty in a uh, re reaction vessel. The amount that we transfer is exact amount that uh, in the reaction. So in this case, I'm going to take some, this is butyl, uh, uh, T butyl alcohol. It is solid at room temperature. So I need to, thank you. Yeah, I need to uh, measure around six and a half, seven milliliter. Hopefully I will be able to reach to the T butyl alcohol right there. Here you are. Let's add around six and a half to seven milliliter of it. Some of it, it is still solid, but I have enough to get, let me see how many milliliter. This is almost seven and a half. I'll show you the amount of it. There you are. So. Here you oh, are. Oh, no. Right there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I am going to take this to the securing again my 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 reagent. I will put this away, and then uh, heat is off. I don't need it anymore. I will take this to the balance and weigh it. Now I'm I'm going to weigh a uh, tea butyl alcohol. For that, I go to balance. You need to zero it always uh, before you start. And I am going to put it up here. I cannot close the lid, but that is okay. I am weighing it, the amount of it is. Okay. Great. Okay. Can we go back? Now I'm going to set up the reaction in a uh, separatory funnel. 
This was prepared earlier. So here you are. We have the, let me reach there. So you can see it clearly. Here you are. I will bring yeah. this down because you can hear it better. Now I need to put the acid first. Acid is cool, hydrochloric acid, concentrate with hydrochloric acid. So I have that. It is make sure that end is closed and there is a, a beaker under it, uh, just in case. So I am going to pour the hydrochloric acid. Make sure that I have everything in there. Now I need to add my reagent, which other reagent, which is T butyl alcohol. I am adding the T butyl alcohol slowly. I got as much as I can. I am going to reweigh this one. But first, I want to make sure that I got all the tea butyl alcohol into the reaction container. For that, I will rinse it with a little bit acid. Acid is here. Take a little bit acid. We have excess acid anyway, so wash the and then I am all set. Put this back, the lid of it, always close the lid. Put it away. This is done also. I am done with this. I will put this away. Now I have all the reagents in here, but before I do anything, I want to weigh this and you can uh, measure exactly how many grams we had with the mass difference. Now I am going to reweigh the empty uh, graduated cylinder so you will know exactly through the mass difference how much t butyl alcohol you put in your reaction container. It is zeroed already so I am going to put it in and then this is the weight. Thank you. And you see that there is a clear separation. We are going to leave some water in it anyway because we are going to wash with uh, the, the ionized water. This is the, I just labeled, uh, water layer, just in case if we need to go back. So I am just trying to get the water layer. My eyes has to be on the same level and the lid is open, that is important. Now, let me get the water layer. This needs to be done carefully and slowly. I'm almost there. As you see, I left some water in it, uh, which is okay. We are going to wash with the ionized water. The ionized water, I need to measure around 10 milliliters, the ionized water. Here you are. I will add. Around 10, 10 milliliters of it. And the rinse. Get. HCl as, as much as possible into the water layer. I will put the lid on and shake a few times. I am holding the uh, lid of the separator funnel tightly and this is closed and I will shake it and let it you, you see there was some gas accumulation there. We will get 
rid of some of it. Do it again. Here, here we are. After adding 10 milliliters of deionized water, we waited for a while. Now we can separate the uh, water layer, which is bottom layer. I am doing exactly the same to get the bottom layer. Now I am going to add sodium bi uh, bicarbonate. I think it was 10 milliliters. Yes, 10, 10 milliliters sodium bicarbonate. I can use the same uh, graduated cylinder, which I used the water earlier. So I need to get 10 milliliters of it. This stage is really important because during the reaction, as you know, carbon dioxide will be forming. So I will be very careful to eliminate the gas without losing any uh, product. Here you are. Now, I have the sodium bi bicarbonate. I will add it slowly. Uh, I could use the, but I'm not going to use, I will just add it slowly to my reaction. As you see, carbon dioxide bubbles formed, and I can stir it a little bit, swirl it like this. Now, I have to put the lid on again, the same technique. I will take it out first, this is the important part. And then I will put the lid on. Only once I will do the stirring and then get rid of the carbon dioxide. And then I will run the reaction slowly and then get the carbon dioxide as you see. I think we are okay, close to, uh, and then we, I will put this one back, slowly, and then change the uh, beaker, collection beaker. I will put a clean one because I have the final product in there. So I have opened that, let the layer separate. We are, you see the clear separation, uh, the lid is off. So I will get rid of the water layer and then wash with the ionized water one more time. I left some water there because I'm going to wash with uh, uh, the ionized water one more time to get rid of the HCl and the sodium bicarbonate of course. It is around 10, 10 milliliters, will be fine. I am adding. And then close the lid. Stir again. Holding tight. Separate the water layer again and I will have my pure compound, almost pure compound. It will have some water in it and we are going to eliminate the water with a uh, drying agent. This is the last uh, separation. Uh, you see the water layer and top layer is our hopefully T butyl chloride, pure to uh, almost pure uh, T butyl chloride. I got a clean beaker. I will collect my final product in here. First, I need to separate, again, this the water layer. This time, carefully, I will leave, uh, try to leave very little water. Sure. Yeah, here we are. I am going to separate the water layer slowly and surely this time. I don't want to have that much water in it. This one is the waste. 
and my final product will go in here. I have to dry with uh, magnesium sulfate. So I will uh, empty it right here, all of my final product. to get every drop of it because you will calculate the percent yield. You see I got everything in there. Alright. Turn it off. This is our final product. We need to secure it uh, carefully. I will put this out of my way. Now in here I I am going to add magnesium sulfate. Thank you, James. I will add magnesium sulfate carefully because I don't want to add excess, but I want to see the formation of uh, clumps, hydrate formation. And this is, okay, strange looking spatula, but it will help. <laughs> Usually I will put a little bit to see I will need more, but show to the camera. show you. Yeah. Here is the camera. Yeah, you see the clump formation uh, right there? Right there? There we go. Okay. I will stir it a little bit more. We might be okay. Look at that. We didn't leave that much water in there. And some yeah, magnesium sulfate crystal are floating around. That tells me that there is excess magnesium sulfate. And the clumps sh shows me that uh, water has been uh, collected and it is in hydrate of magnesium sulfate. And I am done with this part. I will close the lid of magnesium sulfate. The adding very little amount slowly is, is, is really important for uh, uh, drying. Now what I need to do, this is my final um, the collection uh, container. I am going to weigh this and then empty the final product into this and then we are going to, uh, you are going to figure out the mess of your final product. Now we are ready to finalize the experiment. We have our almost pure uh, product and I am going to weigh the container uh, to give you the final amount of the product, TB2 chloride. Now I will weigh this. It is all zero. And put this in. I could put it from the side also, but it is okay. Now this is the weight of the container. Okay. Then I will take this out. I, I weighed it without the lid, so I will be careful about that. Now this one, we waited almost five minutes, maybe more than five minutes to settle it down so I can decantate. This is called decantation. I will be very careful to take as much as I can our final product. Holding in this angle is always helpful so you won't spill anything. I am watching carefully the last drops I will get as much as I can because you will calculate the percent yield if you don't get high percent yield I don't want to be blamed I think we are okay you see I got almost all of it without any uh, magnesium sulfate in it I will take the last drop so here you are weigh it again Put it carefully here. That was zero. Let me check if it's zero again. I will put it from the side just to be more secure. Here you are. The difference will be the mass of final pro product, T-butyl chloride. Now we are going to take this product 
to uh, the IR, and we are going to take the IR of final product. Now I'm going to take the IR. For that, I need to clean the um, sodium chloride pellets or cells. So it is right there. I put plenty and then wipe it carefully. Hold it, wipe it carefully. And then I will take another one dry it and then I am ready to put my sample. Yes, I'm first. Alright. The sample is here. Oh my hand was on your way? No. Okay. Then I need to get very little we need. The sample we wait already. Don't worry about it. We are not wasting your your product. So here you are. I will need only a very small drop of it. I am done. And this is, I will leave here. If something happens, I don't get a good result. I can come back or I have excess of the product. So I just work around. It is all ready. I need to put in this sample container part. Look at here, it has to touch. I am not touching the uh, sodium chloride cells. I just hold from the side. Now we are ready to collect. I am here, go to sample collection. It is done. Let me see. We could use a little bit more, more sample, make these uh, peaks uh, better. Uh, but I will take it to uh, find the peaks and to see what, what we have. It is pretty clear actually, you can see. Uh, a few things that it is pretty clear actually. Uh, I, am, I am dying to talk about it, but I won't. <laughs> it is right here, we are going to print this. And uh, the... Let me go to print. We are going to print and post it. Now we got the IRs of our product and the uh, uh, reagents. Now we are going to do the final test of the uh, t butyl chloride. Uh, we have a blind test. We are going to use water and then next pure t butyl chloride from our laboratory. This is the, uh, the last test that will have the uh, the butyl chloride that we made. So first one, I am adding water to that. Doesn't matter how much. I will add uh, uh, butyl chloride from the lab, uh, pure butyl chloride. And it is right there. Do we have it? Yes, we do. Take some here. And then the last one, I will add our product, with IR shows, pretty pure product. I didn't add drop by drop, because I am able to add very little. Then I will add to each one of them silver nitrate. You know the reaction, if you watch the uh, video. I will add the water. Next one to uh, pure T butyl chloride from the lab. Third one is our product. The only one right away. The product right away. Look at our our product. Gave the reaction right away. This T butyl chloride, pure T T butyl chloride. It is. Weirdly, it may not be, it looks like T butyl chloride. So with water, of course, there won't be anything. I need to check on that if this is the real T butyl chloride or not, and I will be back. Here we go again. What I did, I got a new bottle of T-butyl chloride from the uh, storage room. 
so I will try with this one. Last one, there was something with that uh, TV tool color right there. Uh, it must be old or let me take some of it here. There you are. And we will try with this one. Silver nitrate. Yes. Silver nitrate. A drop of silver nitrate. You see the formation of precipitate right away. There you are. So again, this is water. Let me take you closer. This is water. This is pure tea petil chloride from the storage room. This is our product. All right. That concludes the experiment, right? Yes, this is the end of the experiment.